Now, what else does he need? Uh, you had called down, you had said that someone had had migraines, and um, he suffers from... Constant migraine? Constant migraines. Come here, sweetie. As, as well as many other... Many other things, like what? It's okay, it's okay. sweetie. That's the last one that will come here, and then we do, we, we'll take care of everybody. My children and oh. I have a um, genetic syndrome where um, it's called Ehlers-Danlos. It's called what? Ehlers-Danlos. It what is, does that mean? It's a genetic mutation of our collagen, which basically means... Are you a doctor? I am not, but I've done a lot of research. <laughs> and that's the problem. <laughs> well, Let we, me explain that to you. What, I knew what it was. I'm just, I was testing your knowledge. You see, this is the problem. Whenever you're sick, the worst thing you can do is to go and read more about the sickness. The symptoms will increase. Read about the solution and the symptoms will disappear. Yes. I mean, if you understand that. Amen. Now, the reason I say that is to help you. Because you have done your research about the condition because you want to learn how to manage it. Mm. Let me explain to you. Whatever you manage increases. Mm -hmm. We don't do sickness management. We do sickness get rid of. Yes. Can somebody say amen? Amen. Mentally, you make the adjustments. You begin to tolerate it. Whatever you tolerate, you cannot change. Now, many of you know what I'm talking about. Amen. He will get healed, and that gen genetic mutation, or whatever it is, will disappear. Let me explain to you how that works. In the basics of a cell structure, the cell structure, what gives anything life is spirit. Everybody says spirit. spirit. When you remove the spirit, it's dead. Do you understand? So I teach this sometimes in medical schools. Now, hear this. What gives it life is spirit. A mutation is simply the cell, cell structure changing but doctors don't know what makes it to change or what is passed down genetically. Sometimes Christians call it generational curses. But when you're in Christ, you're a new creation, all of those things are cut off. Can somebody say amen? amen. Let me explain to you. As I'm speaking to you, somebody stand, come on. People are watching. Stand behind those people whenever I'm talking. There's power in this place. Fire in Jesus' name. There it goes. It's changing everything. Everything. Everything has changed. So look at me. Shake your head like this. How is it right now? It's all better. Let's clap Play. our hands and praise the Lord. It's You're okay. I love you. Amen? You're okay. Everything is fine. What? It's like, um, it's like, uh, something, well, well, when I had all this, um, constant pain a long, long time, mm -hmm. it's like, um, when I watch this movie, it's like, um, someone is crushing my head and that's how it feels. Yeah, and but also, now it's gone. Yeah, and also when I also have my um, My um, my pain in my joints and everything You normally and, have pain in the joints too. Well, only a little bit a little like bit. Like, r like in my feet my ankles and my but knees. But it's not there right now. Can you jump? Uh, Come on. Yeah, test yourself <laughs> Let's clap a hands and praise the Lord. Give me five man. All right, enjoy yourself. And when you go to the doctors, when you go to the doctors, they'll tell you everything has changed. They can't even find those genes. Go and enjoy yourself. Everybody say hallelujah. hallelujah.